Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Matskas, and today is our Wednesday box opening. Hi. Hi! All right, so if you are new to our channel, we are a mother-daughter duo. We have a quilt shop in central Washington State. We've been here mm -hmm. for 25 years. We do, um, let's see, we have a retreat center, the brick and mortar shop, the pattern line. Um, we do a lot of YouTube videos. Um, we have different classes. Yeah. We do a little fabric chat uh, thing Wednesday mornings, and then twice a week we do a box opening. So we are showing you the boxes that we are just now opening of brand new things that come in the store. And it is kind of funny because we tell you, we say we call this it. will sell out, uh -huh. and it did. Because in fact, I have like a little um, update on a couple of things for you. Um, because we sort of know what you guys buy. And in fact, I should maybe just mention that right now. So we had our um, counts wrong. So just for a moment, there were more on the bolt than we thought. I think you put mm -hmm. on 15 and we had 17. So for those of you guys that noticed that we ran out of these real, I'm not even gonna open it up. The uh, Midas. If you know, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Midas Touch. Uh, we do have a couple of extra things that are on the website now. We sold out of a lot of that fabric. Yeah. There's very little left, but if you were hoping for one additional panel um, for a moment, there's a few extras um, because there was more on the bolt than we thought. So yes. we thought we would mention that. The other thing is that, I don't know about you guys at home and what you guys have all been yakking about, but if you watched Fabric Chat this morning, we were talking about, um, I knew that I had remembered it, but Tracy was having a hard time remembering back in the six, she's still having a hard time, having a hard time remembering it. <laughs> but I think it's because of what news we watched. So we figured it out. It was, it was in front of Fox News. So we had here, we had NBC, CBS, ABC, and PBS. That was it. We didn't have any other channels than that. And then I don't know how old I was. I was telling her that I was thinking I was maybe around 10 when we got Fox News. And so Fox News came on, or mm -hmm. Fox Channel. Fox News came on at 10 o'clock. So it was in front of Fox News, and because my parents would watch Fox News so that they could go to bed instead of staying up until 11. So mm -hmm. anyway, um, and it was that if you didn't watch this morning what we talked about, we were talking about that, you know, how kids are different now than before, and that um, I thought that it was some little thing just to remind you that, um, did your kids make it home yet? Yeah. <laughs> because we would go off on our bikes and forage for food and try be to stay out dark. of trouble, swim wherever we wanted, do whatever we wanted to do, be home at dark. Mm -hmm. And that was the rule. You had to be home at dark. You didn't necessarily, in my house, you didn't have to be home for supper, mm -hmm. but you had to be home at dark. And then, you know, sometimes you'd say, hey, mom, or whatever, and she'd be asleep, and maybe you wouldn't know. So anyway, before the 10 o'clock news on Fox, they said, it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> <laughs> Which our <laughs> modern moms How are going, oh, my God. world has changed. <laughs> I know. Well, the funny thing is we were looking for it. I thought, I know I'm not crazy. I know I remember hearing that all the time. And um, and so uh, uh, we watched the the thing that... Mom it's looked it, it Yeah, we looked it up. And there was a couple people that took credit for it, which was a little bit weird, but it was always before Fox News. But anyway, the one guy that we watched first said that it was supposed to be a warm and fuzzy. Do you know where your kids are? It's like, well, that doesn't seem warm and fuzzy to me. It was me. supposed it to like, be something that was nice before crashing into the 60s. Into the... Into, you know, what was happening in the 60s. Yeah, because they started it in the late 60s because the world was such a turbulent time. And yes. so they wanted something warm and fuzzy. They could think about something different. And then different. they could go into the turbulent news. Oh. But I always thought, that's funny, asking where your kids are. I'm not sure that's warm and fuzzy. I think it was, Did have you locked the door? Unlock the door so they can make it in. But anyway... <laughs> Anyway, so we were excited. It might all just depend on, you know, where you were and what you, you know, you know, if you what weren't a child. Country. Yeah. And if you weren't a child, I think that, that was, was a fairly normal thing, though, that we all just sort of ran around on our bikes and, uh, yeah. and walked the, t I mean, it was a different time back then, though. We just didn't, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I'm anxious to hear what all of you guys are saying. Ooh, yeah. what all you guys remember about that. Is that this is gorgeous. Was. Oh, wait, you're not going to let them see it yet? No, 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 they should see it. I guess I thought it was something different. It's box two of three, but I feel like I know it would... What, oh, look at that one. This is some cape backing fabric. Want to wait? 
108. We'll take the plastic off so you can see it better, but that's fantastic. Okay, yeah, so this is what I thought it was. I was thinking, why did they have 108s in there? But it's not actually cake. The rest of the say, collection. This does not look like cake to me. Yeah, the rest of it is not. But it's definitely free spirit because that's in where our cake pink. comes from. What's it called? In the pink. In the pink. Interesting. You know what's funny is sometimes cute I have though. no memory. I got nothing. So it's actually really cute though. It's really cute. It kind of really has that modern. collage -y look. Look at this it's one. It's modern, um, I don't know, Amazon jungle, right? Is that yeah, what, it's is cute. That what Mexican. It's, I don't know, I this one in blue and white. I have a whole other box too. Huh. It's cool. Who is the designer? Um, is this one of um, Tia McLeod? Cute. Elsie. Maybe, that, does that say, what's that name say? Maybe. Elsie McLeod. Fantastic. I don't know, I got nothing. I got nothing. Maybe if we awesome. see the rest of it, we'll remember. But, you know, we've talked about this so many times, but um, we see the fabric when the reps come over, and we, it's, it's six yeah. to eight months. Yeah. before we see it. And it's cute. And I think I have one more box. So it will be, okay. we'll take off all the plastic and uh, show it up close to you. Okay, so we got so excited about <laughs> opening this fabric. What's it called? In the pink? In the, we forgot to open the backing. We forgot to open the backing. So we'll <laughs> start with the backing. This in the pink, we kind of looked at the gala because she didn't sound familiar to me. This must be her first fabric line. Yes. So her name is Maybe. funny. What's her name? Elsie? Esty. Esty? E-S-T-E. E apostrophe E. McLeod. She is from uh, South Africa, now in England, but she was part of the paper world. So if you're a scrapbooker wallpaper. or wallpaper, that kind of thing, interior design, you may recognize some of this. Yeah. Um, because she's that kind of the world coming into quilting. Yeah. So, um, extra wide. So this being... Freeze. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's cheesy. The box is everywhere. Yeah, it is cheesy. She wanted to scare the dog. <laughs> <She did. laughs> um, this is the extra wide from Free Spirit, which means it's silky smooth. It is How has a cotton? fantastic finish, but it is very it silky. Yeah. Um, and somebody had asked when we were talking about all of that, somebody said, well, does it wash out? You know, eventually it does. I mean, a finish, um, it, it's, um, it's like a, I don't want to say heat press or water press. If you remember, we kind of talked about that when we were in Bali. There's a specific system where they make sure that it's all, all there, but um, eventually it, oh, Gosh. I, isn't this gorgeous? Mm -hmm. It That's feels good. so nice. I want this it in a piece of finish. Minty. It That's is a <laughs> sateen finish. It is not a sateen fabric. It is a 100% cotton fabric, but it just has this finish that it is just so smooth that you um, you would swear it's something um, else. And they do that on purpose, especially for the backing fabrics. Yeah. And so you. And a lot of it's something that just sets them aside from everybody else. Yeah. Everybody does 108s, but nobody does it like Free Spirit does it. No, they do um, a nice job. The other thing you can do is, even though it has this beautiful silky finish, you can still put this in your quilt top. So if you think, oh, yeah, it oh, doesn't matter. These big, huge 10 inch flowers is exactly what you need to fuss to get to make something. Mm -hmm. Do it. If you feel like it's too, the finish is a little too silky for you, you can even just put a little piece of interfacing on the back of it and just. Give it a little bit more structure, but you yeah. don't need to. No. It's going to wash and wear as well as anything else you're going to put with it. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. It just has a little different feel to yes. it, but Not nothing just... else is different. It doesn't shrink any differently. Yeah. It doesn't do anything any differently. And we know the people that order just a half a yard, we know that that's what you're doing is it was the exact right color. Yeah. You couldn't get it in the 42, 45. And so and you ordered fine. that and it was fine. Um, the other thing that I just want to mention about the finish thing, and it's not just, um, so the, the backing, uh, free spirit backing has this sateen finish, but um, the finish that in the um, beginning has in the beginning has the fin um, art gallery. Uh, there's a lot of companies, um, and even Hoffman. It is a closely guarded secret. Their recipe with how they do their finish, um, it is an industry secret and they don't share it. The other thing, and I think we mentioned this in the video when we were in Bali, that Hoffman's wax that they use is also a closely guarded secret. It is not just beeswax. There's something else in it and everybody, um, it's very proprietary and they don't uh, share that information with anybody. So it is kind of funny that, um, you know, people want to do things that set them apart. 
a little bit from the other company. So this is like the coolest thing. So modern. It's modern. I still say Mexican Amazon, jungly. you know, it's jungly. Really cool. I love it. I love the colors. I just love the feel of it. I think it's really nice. So this one, uh, can you tell what that is? Yeah. It's like really cool. Look at the little bird in there. I really, I love the color. Very bright. And then there's this one. Could kind of be some Mayan beads. I don't know. I don't know what the... I don't know. But I like it. This, so, can you tell that it's a little bit um, pinky corally on the back? Um, coral and green is all the rage now. That's what everybody was looking for this weekend. This is awesome. So really it looks like cool. torn paper pieces. A little bit of orange in there and some coral. This one, I love this one. That one was super Gosh, cool. Gosh, I just love it. Really like that one. It's the only one like that. And there's this one, similar to that first one, just little different colorations. I love the colors with it. Oh, I, I just can't decide which one is my favorite. This one is way brighter. Really cool flowers. Love that one. Love this one. Yeah, super great. Mm. And I'm probably going too slow. I guess can't decide. Yes, now, Brianna, we probably have to do. Um, Free Spirit doesn't do uh, pre-cuts, mm -hmm. so we should do some fat quarters, half yards, and one sure. yards. I would get a yard of each of these. I Me think too. that these are just gorgeous. And look at that one. That's kind of what color would you say that it's kind of a salmon, like a salmon. with a little mm -hmm. bit of yellow. Yeah, it's. I mean, look how pretty it is with all of these. Yeah, it's very pretty. And then this one. Oh. oh, one more. Sorry, guys. Sorry, there was one more. Oh, I love that one, too. These are the peaches. Cute. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. And it's not very big. How many pieces was it? I wasn't keeping track. 15, 3, 6, 9, 12. 12. So if we did, we'll do fat quarter packets, half yards, and we'll do one yard. Perfect. All right. And then we have more fabric, and I think we have notions and we have a big huge surprise that we're going to tell you at the very end so we're going to move all of this stuff and then i don't know if we're doing fabric or notions next okay i had to open that box because i had things that needed to go out um, and then there was also in here um the creative flannel grid for our design walls and people have a hard time searching for that sometimes because maybe you're watching on the television and you're playing on your phone or whatever. And if you don't um, see it on there, people look up design wall and I don't think that's how it comes up. I think it you have to type in creative grid, creative grid, 54 inch flannel wall, but type in creative yeah. grid and it'll come up. And the size that we suggest, if you haven't seen the video is two and a quarter, mm -hmm. two and a quarter yards will wrap that six foot by four foot movable design wall if you want to make the ones like what we have out at the retreat center yes all right okay oh so some really good so stuff. i think a lot of this is patterns and books i think is what in here um the make a botox bag um super popular bag yeah, super popular we sell a lot of patterns and hardware the hardware is really really cool on it and i think at the moment we have both the gunmetal and the nickel hardware in yes. stock and so we sell out a lot. Um, the Sashiko and Boro. So uh, we had announced this morning on Fabric Chat that um, Tracy and Sally are going to do a um, uh, Sashiko and... Is it Sashiko Boro? Boro Sashiko. They're separate. Sashiko Boro. Boro. <laughs> They're going to do a class. Boro's rags and more of a art, art. They're going to do a Boro. Yes. Is what they're going to do. They're, and so they've got kits together. We have a kit that includes everything that you need. Mm -hmm. And so it is going to occur out during Tracy's mixed media retreat. If you are already signed up for her mixed media treat, you're retreat, signed up for the class. You are signed up for the mm -hmm. class. We got you. We have your kit is included um, with your retreat cost, so you don't have to worry about it. If not, um, on the website, what do they search? Boro um, Workshop? Yes. Boro workshop um, and it's only 25 there is a cost and there is a shipping cost because what will happen is um, we have to ship you the kit we have to ship you the kit and then um, there'll be information in there about linking and it'll be a live class where you'll take the class 
with Tracy with us out at the retreat center on ooh, what's the date? The end of um, May. End of May. But it'll be in the description. Yeah. So end of May. Um if you can't make it, so if you can't make it at that time, uh no worries. I record it, I'll edit it, put it into a YouTube and then email you the link to watch it. Um it will be only um You'll only be able to access that video if you're signed up for the class. Yeah. Um, it won't be on our general YouTube yeah. page because if you don't have access to the kit, it might not make sense. Yeah, so you won't see it, yeah. but if you're someone who can attend, I'll email you the video so you can watch it later. So don't so, worry about that. And so you wouldn't need um, the books or the other stuff. All of, I mean, you'll probably want those afterwards, but um, you don't need, but you don't need anything class. for the class. Yeah. Um, Redwood tote, just another tote bag. Um, super cool. Um, ten and a half inches wide, two and a half inches deep, thirteen inches tall. Just like a fantastic little travel bag. Love that. This is the pen that everybody. Tracy, somebody's waiting for this. Oh yeah, somebody. This is the pen that everybody wants for the um, Sashiko class. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you guys will get. It uh, is a white one. ink that uh, dissolves with heat or yeah. disappears with heat. Off. Mm -hmm. Irons off. Cotton daisies, just a Karen Walker pat Walker, Walker pattern. Um, super popular. great, super super popular pattern. Um, Gerber daisies. This is along the back. Is a very similar sort of um, design. Also popular. Some more. A book. What'd you get? How to babysit a grandma. How to babysit a grandma. <laughs> Right, Random. we need to know these things. I need to know this. How to play with grandma. Sing and dance together. Place if you're lucky, you'll have you a shop over at her house. <laughs> what was it? Place you shop. Place you shop. <laughs> if your grandma likes fancy things, play dress up. Say ta-da. When you ha and then hand her a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> you can push your grandma on the swing, but not too high. Not too high. Add sprinkles to anything. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is fun. Read some books. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Poor grandma fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun. Once you're both tucked in, you can make shadow puppets. Have your shadow foxes kiss goodnight. If she's missing your mom and dad, tell her they'll be here tomorrow bright and early. <laughs> Aww. How to say goodbye to a grandma. Let her borrow some sprinkles, books, stickers, ribbons. Say I love you without making a sound. Give her a big hug and ask, when can I babysit you again? <laughs> You know, I saw it on the thing when we were placing the orders. Like, oh, it's a new book. And I don't know how many I ordered. Not enough because I need one. But um, <laughs> I hadn't seen the inside of it. That's good. It's adorable. It's adorable. It's pretty that cute. is a good one. That's adorable. All right. Well, hopefully I'll, I'll have see. enough of these for on my Nana friends. Nana friends. Nana's and Oma's. And, and two cheese. Two, 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 two ma's. And two cheese. Uh, one book wonder quilt. So it's that kaleidoscope technique, super, super cool. Lots of really good information, how to do it, um, and just different ways to just enhance it, just one more step. So super cool. Pen. Payday. This is a bit, we've not had this, pa did you already nope. hold this one up? Mm -mm. We haven't had this pattern Payday before. This is one of the Buy Annie ba um, bags. Uh, we are having, uh, we have two, bag retreats the first one is full the second one i think oh there's either one or two spots left we will be having a buy annie trunk show during that time and mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. pink sand beach and i don't know there's a, and i think aunties too but anyway this is one i've not uh is this the one do you think that janet makes all the time it could be there's a it looks I similar this. i like it cute um some other books uh in the beginning uh Lock Heaven oh. by Eleanor Burns. Just a really good one. If there's a new quilt in your life or you've ever wanted to do a log cabin, this book has everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. From A to Z, any way you want to do it. Um, quilts to Make in a Weekend. This is a reordered book. Um, it does, has patterns for all of those projects. Super fun. Super fast. They're small, but again, 
um, just making an extra block or putting an extra border on can make it just the right size. Um, quilts with panels and patchworks, another reorder one. Um, you guys are loving this book. Just ways to use up your panels, whether it's a um, large panel that's 24 inches wide or a piece of fabric you just can't cut up. One of those into the called the wild large pa wilderness panels or block panels. All of those panels are talked about and quilted in this one. And then this one, the uh, another by Annie bag. Uh, this one is quartzite. So Rosalie is the one who told us to mm -hmm. get this one. So this is a pickleball bag. Ooh, you know, you know, pickleball was the number one um, growing, growing sport, sport for 2023. Originated here in Washington State. Mm -hmm. Over at was it Bambri Bainbridge Island? Bainbridge. Or? Would be, mm, would somewhere be over there. An island. On the coast. And um, this is a bag to carry your change of clothing, your uh, remnant, I mean, not your remnant, your, um, what's it called when you change out of your clothes? A change of clothes? Your change a change of, of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I have a word in, word in my head that's not the right word. <laughs> your, what is it? Your what? When you change your clothes. Yeah. Your, um, yeah, but a change of clothes and, um, and your paddle. And I don't know. I don't know what you carry for a pickleball. I, I don't need. know. Anyway, uh, Rosalie made one for her daughter, and her daughter does play pickleball. She does carry her change of clothes in there, and she carries everything. But she loves this bag so much that she uses it for everything. Oh, that's it's like good. exactly the right size. And you can tell that it's not just a bag that you can carry, but you can also, also turn it into a backpack. Pretty awesome. Smart. All right. Okay. I think do we have to clean okay. this mess up. Um, I do have I this. Um, I have a Riley Blake box that the guys just brought in. I think it is our next. Oh, that was fun. Door banner? Maybe. Of course, I can't find a box cutter. Oh, here. I probably have one. I don't know where I put them down. Maybe I have I have here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah. Never mind. No. Did they have Which to means they saw it? Well, I mean, there's two pieces of fabric in here, but I'm pretty sure we have more than two. So we're gonna hold on to this one. Make sure I don't that have another Riley box, box came with it. Yeah. I don't have another Riley Blake box, which means I can't just show you two pieces of flannel. You gotta know what they're gonna see. Are. It so bad. Stay tuned for Sunday. Ta -da -da. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, it's a little box. I got two Aww. of them. Whoop, birds. Look how plump those guys are. Oh, there's some chubby birds. Oh, ready for spring. Oh, and there's your actual. The robins have come back. You know, they're out there hunting for worms. I don't think they've found very many. He was out there working and working, working for a very long time. Hard? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Another good spring one. This is, reminds me a little bit of the quilt that was hanging behind us this morning that had all of the birds. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were, I mean, different, but look at that. These are like a little four by I'll six. I'll measure this while we get the plastic off. I'll measure. Um, yeah, they might not be able to see that. You might not can see. Can you tell? We'll have to go close up. They're little panels, mm. little like postcard size of birds. birds. All right, I'll get the other box opened up, take the noisy plastic off, and then we'll show you up close. Okay, super cute. Uh, this is called Bird Garden. Bird Garden. Um, very bright. So even though it's floral with a bird or two, it's far brighter than the other one. Uh, is but it's so cute. Is that a woodpecker? Uh, he looks like a cardinal. This one. Oh yeah, he's a woodpecker. I don't know if I've seen a lot of woodpeckers in quilting. Well, he's we kind of groovy looking. We all like woodpeckers. We don't all appreciate them. That's true. <laughs> they do naughty things. They do, and I mean they're eating the bugs that are eating your house. So I think you're supposed to like them, but um, they're a little aggressive. And noisy. <laughs> and, yeah. So yeah. anyway, so we did measure this, and this is um, we'll do even a better close up for you. But this is four inches by six inches, so it's a nice little postcardy kind of size. Mm -hmm. And Brianna went and got some heat yeah. and bond. Yeah. So you could put them on little pieces of cardstock. So you could. So the heat and bond, this red one, this is a no sew. You just hit it, glue it to the back of your fabric, peel the paper off, glue it to your cardstock, but then it's permanent. You don't need to sew through it, and even better yet, your machine doesn't want to. Yeah, I always like to add that to people, um, to tell people. No sew really does It means does no mean... sew because you cannot sew through no. it. If you decide you want to put it on a shirt or on something because you just don't want to have to sew, sew over it, that's fine. It's a little bit stiffer than like your um, steam seam, but 
you cannot sew through it. Uh, your needle will gum up mm -hmm. after about the third or fourth stitch. So, But it is um, washable in cold water. Yeah, so whatever it your is. project is. Yeah. Um, the other yeah. thing, if you're thinking, ooh, I don't know if I want to do an iron-on thing, you could, you know, pink, use your pink rotary cutter, um, your cardstock a little bit bigger, and then sp stick this on and then just top stitch around it. You're going to have, you can even pink the edges around your bird also so it doesn't fray as much, and then just do some top stitch. Yeah. And it'll fit in postcard size. Which is what forty cents at the post office to do yeah. ship a postcard. So kind of cute. Super cool. I think it's a really cute. I think it's a really cute idea. We'll show you up close what these cute little birds look like. There's quite a few birds, and what we'll do is this is running yardage. It is not a panel. So if you order your half a yard or your yard, uh, what we'll do, we'll get what we always do is we'll round up and then cut it right on that line for you. Um, you can see that whoever gets the first cut, you have some little random thing here, but roughly a half a yard is probably going to give you about three by one, two, three, four, five by ten. It's going to give you about thirty. But you can see they're super cute with really cute little floral backgrounds. Yeah. I like it. And then this one, so, and it says on here, Bird Garden by Mia Charo. Again, I, I'm not sure who Mia Charo is. I feel like I should look that up, but this is Charo? super cute. Charo? <laughs> I know who that is. I don't know who Mia Charo is. I don't know what this is. What do you think it is? A nest? It's cute. It is cute. I don't know. A uh, modern takeout straw bale? Straw bale. It's cute. Beautiful, beautiful pink. I would say, again, I, well, I think pink. Yeah. Not salmon. Definitely pink, but kind of a mottled pink. And then this, gosh, super cute. Very bright. I love that one. Bluebirds and flowers. Kind of whimsical a little bit. I love this one. This one is a bit directional, but. Another good option cute. for a fussy cut. Right? Or if there's something, um, if there's a particular uh, pattern that you like that calls for a panel, just focus fabric. Just a large piece of a really cool fabric works just the same. This is super cute. Love that. That's just darling. Hmm. There's another one. So here's the cardinals. Some flowers. This is really bright. Love that. And that's kind of, can you tell that there's purple and gray and a little bit of black in the background? Just very, very rich. Really pretty. And then this mint green is nice. Geometric. This is that same one, uh, except it's on a black background. Kind of a uh, charcoal-y black background. More wildflowers, again, on that charcoal-y black. And then one more with the birds. Pink. Love it. Okay. Beautiful. What's it called again? Uh, Bird Garden. Bird Garden by Mia Charo. Okay, this one, same thing. Uh, we'll yeah. go ahead and do fat quarters, half yard cuts, and one yard cuts. Yeah. Same thing. Kind of nice. And we will put the the big birds, the four by yeah. six birds, we'll put in the half yard and fat one yard quarter, and back quarter cuts. One yard, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yep. So you'll end up. It's kind of nice sometimes. Um, somebody had, uh, um, I don't know if it was emailed or um, a YouTube comment about what are some ideas of what to do with the one yard cuts. Well, for one yard, I mean, if you're going to end up with 10 yards of fabric, you can do all kinds of things, but frankly, you can do multiple things. So you really could do a queen or a king size quilt, depending upon what some you're doing. Aprons. Aprons. Pillowcases. You can do several three yard quilts. Um, patterns that come to mind if you want to use all of them are things like um, Brianna's Stash Buster mm -hmm. that takes 12 and a half inch, well, 12 inch finished squares with some great big four patches and rail fence blocks. And so it's a really nice way to use up fabric that you just really want to be able to see. Yep. So there's lots of different options for it. But what's really nice is that, you know, when you want to go pull something out of your stash or your fabric pantry, it's kind of nice when you have a, a stack that's substantial enough that you can pick and choose and say, okay, this is going to be my main piece, this is going to be my border, and here's some that go with it. So yeah. it is kind of nice to kind of keep them bundled together just a little bit for when you do uh, decide that you know what to do with it. Yeah. All right, so we had a couple of surprise things. Yes. Well, one really big surprise, but one thing that I just wanted to mention is that this is that um, quilt kit that we were talking about. This is the Crackers quilt kit out mm -hmm. of the... What's the name of the pattern? Um, it, Dawn. Wild, Wild Dawn. Wild Dawn. It was the 12-inch 
blocks of um, the uh, Call of the Wild, Hoffman Call of the Wild. So we decided before it was all sold out, and there's this actually one? a few of the panels left, but we thought before it was all sold out, we wanted to do some... We want to do a Crackers quilt. And we're going to do one that... Sorry. <laughs> I, <know>. I <laughs> took the pieces home to, um, off of when I cut your guys's. So um, we're going to make one. But yeah, we took this... We're going to make it into that pattern. Yeah. Um, but we did notice some of you guys, you got the panel already. So the rest of your quilt kit is coming. So the pattern, your background, and then your half yard cuts for your color are yeah. all on its way. Yeah. Or I do have, I think, three left if you too want, want to make a kit. crackers quilt yeah. out of this guy. Yeah. Or if you just want a panel, you can get that too. Yeah. So Super those awesome. are on their way. And um, because I think what happened was you got your panel yeah and now you have your kit coming so your kit's coming fyi and we cut a few extras all right and the other thing super big secret yes. since you watched to the end since you watched to the end um tracy did some curated scrap bags so the only thing you need to know is um two things i'll have it linked in the description below or you can search scrap bags or um if you go to the website click shop online Quick shop online again and go all the way to the bottom. There's actually a scrap bag remnant roll category. Um, that's where you'll find these. The only thing we did is we have 25 Five. of them. <coughs> I don't have that um, many. But it is 24. a 24. 24 of them. It is a mystery. So you will not know if you'll get a pink or a blue or a green or a gray or a. I think we should put them in a big box and blindfold them. We're just gonna yes. pull one out for you. We don't even get to yes, see it. it is yes. a mystery. Because um, what you get. Which one would you think was the prettiest one? Maybe not the same one that I yeah. think is the prettiest one. So we don't so. even know. So it's gonna be something fun. But there's a there's about four yards of fabric roughly. Yep. So it's plenty to be able to do some kind of a scrap thing. Mm -hmm. You can add it to or something else that's kind of fun. Yeah. For Sashiko. All kinds of um, things. It's all also curated. Yeah. Which means Tracy touched every single piece and everything looks good together. Yeah. So she it's not said, just this. This is pretty. So it's not just some random, yeah. you know, chunks of fabric in there. It's all yeah. going to be, you could make a project out of your mystery bag. You could. Yeah. So there's only so many. You'll see no pictures. You can, we are no hoping pictures. that we can minimize it to two per person so everyone can kind of share. Two per person. Um, yeah. Is what we. No uh, more than. I mean, you can get one if you want to. Yeah. Or two. But, but don't get more than that. Yeah. Share for everybody. Because um, they're going to sell out instantly. Yeah. For those of you who watched to the end. So yeah, four yards of fabric. You can make something nice. Yeah. And use your p pantry for borders if you want to offset some things with it. Yeah. But She's been working on it for a while. A lot of these are just leftover little bits. Yeah. Um, things from kits that we've cut. Remnants that are smaller than a half a yard. Um, That's good stuff. Even remnants that are smaller than a yard, right? Oh, yeah. uh, some of yeah. them. Very smaller nice. than... Like There's some, some bigger chunks in there. The yeah. Like so the, some squares. So yeah, oh, yeah. So some things are is almost considered you could consider yardage, I guess. And then some of it are pieces from when we were cutting kits. But you'll get a mix of both of those yeah. things. So yeah. Yeah. really good. With some fun, lot of fun novelty. Yeah. Yeah. Good. She does have a fun novelty. Yeah. yeah. A couple of those. All right. All right. I think that's it. Was that, that was all everything? Of our major news. Yeah. So um, in the pink. Really cute peach collection. Elliot's here bringing more boxes for Sunday. All right. And also uh, Bird Garden that Bird we Garden. just saw. Uh, a couple of Cave yardage. Yep. Yardage. 108s. 108s. Perfect for backs or, you know, whatever you want. A ton of notions yep. and notions. patterns and books. And yeah. And then our surprise. Is that it? And our surprise. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's that's it. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We will see you Sunday for another box opening or maybe somewhere in between. All right. Bye. See ya. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.